Hey ninjas, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do, where do you get an alert, ad set may get zero purchases or ad set may get zero results or no conversions when you get this alert and it looks like this or like this, depending on your version of your Facebook ads manager, we're going to go through exactly what you need to do about that. Now, regardless, if you are new to Facebook and Instagram ads or if you are already a veteran, this video is for you and I'm also going to be giving you some pro tips on how to actually turn more of your traffic to sales. Hi, I'm Sylvia Myers. I am one of the co-founders of the Traffic Ninjas. If you are new to us and if you are new to these channels, we talk about all things about highly converting traffic to your Shopify store and how to turn the traffic into sales, right? Because that's what it's all about. So join us on our path as we discover all of the little known and hidden ways to essentially get you more traffic to your store in an easier way for less money and convert that to sales. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Now guys, there have been lots of changes recently and the most frequent questions I literally get asked like every single week is like, oh Sylvia, I'm getting this alert that my ad set can get, might get zero purchases or zero results or zero conversions. Oh my God, like what am I going to do? Guys, don't panic. Super easy fix. Let's go through this step by step. So essentially the alert might look something like this. Ad set may get zero conversions or it could set ad set may get zero purchases, whatever version you've got, right? Now, what I guys want you to understand is that there is nothing to worry about because Facebook uh, is not a human. So often this alert pops up when Facebook thinks something is wrong because some, but nothing might necessarily be wrong. However, having said that, we do have to go through certain steps to make sure that it's not a false alert that actually you've set up your ad sets properly, okay? Now, why is this happening? Why is this happening more and more often? It's happening more and more often because the targeting has changed, okay? With all of the privacy settings being introduced, social media platforms have completely had to change the way they target and it's not as precise as it used to be, okay? And so essentially it's become much, much harder for Facebook and Instagram to find the right people for your store because we don't have those kind of uh, lookalike audiences working so precisely as they used to before. If you want more information on lookalike audiences, there is another video uh, for that. And also if you want another video on more detailed information on how to set up your targeting, we've got another video for that, okay? But in here, stay until the end because we will talk about power tips on how to maximize uh, sales to your store from your traffic and make sure that you do not get this alert at send me get zero purchases or that if you do get it, that it's actually nothing to worry about because you've checked that everything is running smoothly. So first of all, you need to make sure there's se several points inside your ad set that you need to make sure are 100% correct, okay? 100% correct before you essentially publish your ad set. Um, and also there's few things where you will find that this ad set may get zero conversions. It's a false alert, but sometimes it's a real alert. So. What most of you guys do when you get this alert, it said may get zero conversions, you just click on this learn more and then you get this whole, whole, whole information as to why this doesn't work and what could be wrong. And it tells you like, oh my God, you might have to troubleshoot your conversion optimization. Like, ah, oh, what is conversion optimization? This is so complicated. You might have to optimize for different events and essentially it gives you this whole, whole list of how it calculates optimization, blah, 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 blah. Like, honestly, in my opinion, this information is too confusing. It's too much of that. And in other words, guys, what Facebook wants you to do, they essentially, particularly if you're new to this, if you're new to this, uh, let me move this. They do not want you to select purchase. They do not want you to select purchase because they might have never registered somebody who purchased from your store, right? Because your store might be new. And therefore they're like, oh my God, this is going to be really hard for us to find 
somebody who is going to be doing purchases. So what essentially all of this text means is that Facebook is trying to push you to go back to your campaign and they're trying to get you to select something else. They're trying to get you to select traffic or engagement or like brand awareness or reach because they are like, well, this is going to be easier for us, for Facebook. It's going to be easier for them to find people to click on your ads. However, what you've got to understand is that without having conversions selected, we ha without having your campaign optimized for conversions, guys, like you're not going to be getting those at two cards and you're not going to be getting those sales. Just saying. You're just going to be having random people from Facebook just coming and clicking, okay? So whatever this help is suggesting you, I personally, I mean, obviously the decision is up to you. Only you know your store and your customers the best way possible. But I, I personally and, uh, and all of our students, we always talk about conversion, conversion ads because that's super, super important, okay? So if you're getting this alert, that ad set may get zero purchases. Let me go back here. Oh, that ad set may get zero purchases. Uh, if you're getting that alert because you've optimized for a purchase and it's a new store, then do not pay attention to this. That's tip number one. Okay. Second, you've, you've selected, um, conversion, conversion, um, campaign, you optimize for purchase and then you go and select your budget. So often when you select your budget and let's say you put $5 a day, bam, again, we've got like, oh, it said may get to lead to zero purchases because your budget is too low. And essentially all Facebook is doing, it's just pushing you to spend more money. Would I be spending more money when Facebook is telling me to spend more money? Mm, I don't think so. Like guys, by now, I've spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on social media advertisement and I never top up the budget when Facebook tells me to top up the budget. I only top up the budget when an ad is actually working for me. Okay, so don't be shy. Select $5. It's completely fine to do that. Okay, so again, if this pops up, because you've got a low budget or because you selected purchase for your optimization, then that is what I call a false alarm. However, however, really, really, really important, really important. What often happens is that when you make your ad set and your specific targeting too narrow or too broad, that's when these pops up as well. And in that case, that is real. That is real. Okay. So your targeting, your targeting, essentially the people you choose, the age, the detail targeting, all of that stuff you choose here, the country needs to be the right size. And in this video, we are not specifically talking about different types of targeting, but there is another video where we're going through detail of how to specifically choose that for your brand. Cause I know so many of you guys are product makers. You're so like passionate about all of these amazing products that you've got. You want, you want to show them to the world. And it's very important to know like how to target the right person, because essentially we're small business owners, right? We don't have all of this unlimited money just to spend. Okay. So that is that. So inside this, you select your, essentially your targeting group, right? So I personally don't mix too many countries together. On a small budget, I usually just just pick one country. So pick like wherever your market is, like whether it's uh, the USA, Australia, or Canada, wherever that is. Um, most of you, most of you advertise to the United States because you know that is one of the biggest markets out there. Uh, age, I personally don't do like you know so many people do like oh 18 to 65 like. No, guys, your ideal customer is not between 18 to 65 plus. No, your ideal customer is more, most probably in a bracket of maximum 20 years, like maximum 15, 20 years for some of you guys, even less. So really like go back to what we call your ideal customer. And by the way, there is a video on that where we really drill down of how important is it to niche down on your ideal customers so that you are not wasting your money with the social media giants, but really targeting the right 
person. Okay, now inside here, inside detail targeting, this is super important. Super important inside detail targeting, essentially what you can find here are interests, like for example, home decor, right? So let's say you sell rugs or cushions, you know, you can find like interior designs and then you can press suggestions and there is all of these different ideas as to who you could target. Now, often we find this alert, adsets may get zero purchases. Often it pops up when you like make this super, 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 super niche down. Like, for example, like if you just go like, you know, let's say, let's say you sell products for parents that are educational and you select something like specifically so niche, like, uh, do we even find something like educational toy? Like if we select educational toy and we remove the interior design, ah, uh, well, it still shows as a relatively like bigger size in, in millions, but, uh, there are some interests that are like super, super niche down. Right. And if you like select one of those, then Facebook is going to get uh, confused and it's just not going to give you that many people. Like some of these interests, you know, you want to make sure that they are a good size, that these interests are really somewhere in the millions. If you're going to choose something that's like in thousands or in hundreds, like if it's in hundreds of thousands, then it can still work. But if this interest is in like in hundreds of thousands, and then essentially these are all the people on Facebook, all the people on Facebook interested in educational toy, but we only want people in the United States between age of 20 to 35 who are interested in educational toy. So this number may appear like it's between six to 7 million, but in reality, in reality, it's only going to be like estimated audience 1.7 to 2 million, right? And so some of you guys would like, uh, you know, again, select the super niche interest here. And so when this number estimated audience is like 20,000 or 30,000, like you might think like, oh, but 30,000 sales, that would be quite amazing. But in reality, guys, it does not work like that. In reality, like if you get one to two percent of your ideal customer who see the ad, click on your ad, that's a good result. Okay, so you do the math. Like we need millions in our audience to be able to do, to give Facebook a chance to learn who is your ideal customer and then be able to get more and more sales from that ad set. So guys, that's essentially it, right? There's few major things why you might be getting that ad set may get zero purchases. Like you might, either have an optimization that you might be a new store and you might be running a conversion ad optimized for purchases when you get that like do not give into facebook do not give into facebook because it's really important that you optimize either for purchases or any other conversion event like add to cart initiate checkout like like look you you essentially need to select from here like for example initiate checkout or or add to cart would be one of those I would be choosing. If you haven't had any sales to your store, I would be choosing add to cart. Uh, and in that case, I would not necessarily worry about the ad set may get uh, zero, zero results. Okay. Now, second, you might get that alert when your budget is too low. Like how much is too low? Some of my ad sets, guys, even after hundreds of thousands of dollars spent on social media advertisement, I still have ad sets running for $2.50 a day. Okay. So if you've got an ad set, that's only five bucks a day, honestly, do not give into this alert. However, however, should you have not the right targeting, then this alert might be real. Okay. So we kind of talking about three scenarios here. So definitely go through these three steps. And as I said, there is another video that really helps you understand like how to choose your ideal customer and make sure you've got the right targeting so that you can get more of that high quality traffic and really turn it into sales.